This is the first and only female drumming troupe in Rwanda. Most of the women are still traumatized by the 1994 genocide of Tutsis at the hands of Hutus. Now a new documentary called Sweet Dreams follows a group of these women as they try to rebuild their lives. Kiki Katese, a Rwandan theater director and drummer, founded the troupe in order to help women on both sides of the conflict recover. When you don't yourself have hope, when you don't have faith, when you don't have joy, you can't give anything you don't have. In a country um, full of pain and grief and, and sadness, I chose to bring life uh, and I chose to bring joy. The drummers range in age from 16 to 60. We have uh, widows, we have orphans, we have uh, kids of perpetrators, we have wife of perpetrators. Several years after she formed the troupe, Katese met Jenny Dundas, the co-owner of an ice cream store in New York. <laughs> and she had another idea. Katese teamed up with Dundas and her business partner Alexis Meeson to open an ice cream shop in Rwanda. One, two, three. They hired and trained about 10 women drummers. Each now has an equal share of the business. <laughs> Despite some initial setbacks, they opened Rwanda's first ice cream shop named Nzozi and Ziza, or Sweet Dreams, in Butare, south of the capital, Kigali. Now, Hutu and Tutsi women are drumming and working together. I'm really happy, uh, happy that some of them were able to go back to school, some of them are building houses, some of them are becoming autonomous and uh, uh, thinking about the future with hope. The film recently premiered at the AFI Silver Docks Festival near Washington, D.C. Filmmakers Lisa and Rob Fruchtman, a brother-sister team, say the film is more than just a feel-good story. What the story is more largely about for us is thinking outside the box when thinking about the possibilities for social change and transformation in individuals' lives. How these small projects, rather than large governmental projects, for instance, can really transform lives. Katese and her partners are planning more ice cream shops in Rwanda in the coming years. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.